So you screwed up. You missed Valentine's Day or an important date night with your significant other and now you're in the doghouse. What do you do? Well, I'm not saying that lying to your significant other is the way to go. Lying is not the answer. But if you've already lied and told your significant other that you couldn't go out on Valentine's Day because there was a bear in your house, the least I can do is help you maintain the illusion. This is Doghouse Photoshop. Welcome back to another Digital Den mini class. Today we are talking about Photoshop, Doghouse Photoshop, uh, where we are going to be editing this bear right here into this photo. Um, so all, if you're following along at home, all you need is a picture of a bear and a photo uh, that you want to edit that bear into. Um, the reason why I took the uh, the photo at this exact angle here and, um, you know, with, with everything that is currently in the background there is that I would like to edit the bear into the background. So the bear is ultimately going to be like back here in, in like in the glass uh, of, uh, of this area here, if that makes sense. Okay. So, um, but before we get started, we're also going to need a picture of a bear. So let me go ahead and show you how I found this picture of this bear. So if you wanna use the exact same one, you can. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go over to one of my favorite websites and that is pixabay.com. Um, and uh, this website is great because it's got stunning free images and royalty free stock photos, over 2.5 million high quality stock images. And the cool thing is, is that like nine times out of 10, I mean, not like 99 times out of a hundred, everything is like free for commercial use, which is awesome. So you could post this anywhere that you want um, and not run into any issues of somebody saying, oh, you took my picture or whatever, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and type in the word bear and boom, this one here in the top right of that search is exactly the bear that we're gonna be using for this. But of course you could use any other bear option that you find. Oh my gosh, that bear is adorable right here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the task at hand here. Let's head back over to Photoshop and get things started. All right, so we've got our bear here uh, and we have got our image. Now, if you look here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that the image that we're gonna be working with is quite a bit larger than the image that we're working with here of the bear. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the overall size of the image. And I'm gonna make sure that this is selected to percent. I find that that is the easiest way to be able to make sure that I, I get the right size that I'm looking for. I'm gonna turn that down to about 40%, hit okay. And there we go. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the uh, zoom tool right here. And then I'm gonna click fit screen right there. Boom, that's gonna uh, zoom in right to where we are gonna want that there. And now I'm gonna table this image until we are done with the bear, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do with this bear is I'm gonna, in the bottom right-hand corner, double click on the background so that we can get rid of that lock. What that lock does is it makes it so that we cannot remove anything from the background, which removing the background is entirely what we're going to be doing with this bear. If you followed along with my Halloween Photoshop series, you might remember how we removed the background from an image. Uh, but if you didn't, I'm gonna show you how to do that here uh, under the properties settings here. You can just scroll down to where it says quick actions. And if you don't see the properties panel there, like I have in mind, you can always click on the, um, the, the help uh, option and under, I believe it is Photoshop help. Um, you can get to click a quick actions right there as well. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is removing the background. So I'm just going to click on remove background there. And it is going to remove everything in the background there, uh, there for us. Now, is this a perfect job removing the background? No, uh, the, um, the, the green is still here along the bottom. Of course, some of the some of his legs were cut off here. Now, if I wanted to go back through uh, and adjust uh, what is and isn't in the background, I could use the paintbrush tool. Um, whoops, got to make sure that it's the brush tool. And using white and black, I could paint in and out the different things. So if I say, for example, um, using the white, the color white, I could um, 
you know, draw basically everything back in that, that was removed. And then if I switch to the color black, I can remove the excess things that I don't want. But honestly, I think that the remove tool did a great job. So we are happy with this mask here. So what we're gonna do is in the bottom right hand corner, we're gonna right click on the, the mask, which is this black section here. And we're gonna click on apply layer mask. And that is going to remove the background entirely. And then the last thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to actually flip the bears rotation. So we're gonna hit on uh, image up here, image rotation, and then flip canvas horizontal. That's gonna turn the bear backwards. We're gonna highlight everything with control A, hit control C to copy, and then we're gonna paste it into this image here. So I wanted the bear to be facing this direction because ultimately what I want is the bear to be peeking through this door here and for the, his back to be kind of popping up uh, in, in this area here, okay? Um, so we are not quite, uh, quite ready for that because we have not removed the things from the background that we need to. And what we are gonna go ahead and do is, uh, I, I went ahead and, and clicked on the eyeball uh, function here, which just turns, turns the bear off so that it, uh, it is not visible in this image, okay? All right, so now let's get to editing the background here so that we can edit the bear into our photo to sell the illusion that we were trapped in the digital den by a bear. And that's why we couldn't do Valentine's Day or an important date night or whatever it is we were trying to do, right? That's why we're in the doghouse. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this background layer here, just like we did with the bear to be able to get rid of that lock so that we can make some changes to the background and remove some things. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on layer zero, that is our uh, background layer. And we are going to click on duplicate layer and hit okay. So now we've got a copy layer here. We're actually gonna click the eyeball on the overall background layer. And we're gonna start doing some changes to our, um, uh, to our layer zero copy, okay? So the things that we're gonna work on here is we're going to exclusively be using the quick selection tool. And we are going to try to quick select this, uh, this section here that will um, be inside of that mirror there. All right, I think that we actually did a pretty good job right off the back there. Uh, we can get a little bit more there, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, hit Control C to copy, and then I'm gonna hit the delete function, okay? Uh, then I'm gonna hit Control V to paste. And so it pasted it right back in there. Now you'll notice when it pasted it, there's still a, there's a, a little bit of like weird outline uh, kind of going on here. And that is the reason why we made a copy of the background layer uh, so that that weird outline, it disappears and the background layer is gonna fill in any gaps that we have uh, at the end of it all, okay? So layer zero copy, uh, we're going to drag that. I'm actually gonna, uh, expand the, the layers panel here just a little bit. We're going to drag the layer zero copy all the way to the top of this panel here because we want for that to be the top layer. Um, so we're going to be creating some dimensions here. Um, and when I turn on the, the bear layer here, we will see the bear uh, in just a little, a little bit of it. We want to see his face there. So that's ultimately where the bear is going to be. Um, and I probably will adjust the size of the bear. I don't think that realistically a bear is quite that large. I haven't seen one in real life, so, so it could be, uh, but ultimately we're gonna, we're gonna rearrange that. So um, the layer two here is the, I'll just turn off everything else so you can see what that is. Uh, that is the layer that we just cut out with the quick selection tool. So um, uh, that, is, uh, th that, that is what we've completed so far. So the next step here is we're going to use that quick selection tool once more uh, to be able to uh, remove this layer here. Okay. All right. And it did a pretty good job here. We could, um, we could finesse a little bit. Um, you can add more to the quick, sele uh, quick selection tool by hitting the shift key, uh, and that will add something that was not in the original area uh, to, the, uh, to the selected area. And then we can also hit the alt key, and you'll notice if you look real close at the cursor there, uh, it'll turn from a plus to a minus. Now, I'm trying to get rid of this little section right here. And we're gonna hit the plus key to get that back in there. I'd say that that looks pretty darn good. So once again, we're gonna hit uh, control C. 
then we're going to hit the delete button. And then we're going to hit control V to paste that back in. Now we're going to drag layer three all the way to the bottom so that the layer of uh, the bare layer can be on top there. And now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, hit um, we're going to hit a control T to be able to uh, adjust the size of the bear. Uh, first, making sure that we have selected layer one, which is our bear layer. Um, and then we're going to just scroll down a little bit to be able to make it so that we're going to have his face right in there. Um, and I'd say that that looks pretty darn good. So we're going to toggle the eyeball on our background layer one more time to be able to make sure that it fills in those gaps of what we had gotten rid of. And that is pretty much it. So if uh, you're ever trapped in the digital den by a bear, that is what it'll look like. Fortunately, we were able to close the door before the bear was able to get in. Now, is glass going to stop the bear from being able to get in if it really wants to? No, but it does provide us a little bit of a barrier there. Um, so hopefully this was educational for you. So if you're trying to edit a bear into your own home photo, then uh, you can uh, replicate this uh, to be able to maintain the illusion uh, that, that, um, uh, that, that you were, you know, um, uh, that, that a bear really was uh, trying, to, uh, trying to get you in your home. And that's why you missed Valentine's Day. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this Digital Den mini class, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.